Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NFT's guide, your guide to the latest crypto and NFT projects out there. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. I'm going to be bringing you a lot of exciting projects. Today, I'm super excited that we have the COO of Nature's Vault, this amazing project. I'm sure you've seen uh, our video on the project uh, in the channel. If you haven't, please do. Talks all about the project, but today, super excited. We have the CEO of the project with us. He's going to answer some interesting questions. I'm going to tell you all about this project and what makes it so special. Stay with us. Hello. I mean, first, tell us, tell us about you. Tell us about Nature's Vault. What's the story? Yeah, so I um, actually, I, so, so my background, I, I've been in management consulting and financial services my whole career, doing right. strategy. And then, then the last 10 years of my career were... Um, really in uh, executive search, mostly digitization and transformation in banks and financial services companies. And 2017 summer, I'd like to say, I, I took the red pill and went down the wormhole. <laughs> uh, left executive search, you know, that was the summer of ICOs. I met some really, really interesting people that did a big ICO in Asia, uh, right. a, big a big exchange out of Japan, which was called Coin, later rebranded to, uh, to liquid and then FTX ended up buying them um, last uh, last year. Uh, awesome experience. I mean, just kind of like, you know, thrown in the trenches in, in crypto. I was running people in culture there. Uh, fast track scaling. We, you know, we grew up to 350 people and, wow. you know, we're the first license exchange in Japan. And I left them after about a year and a half and, and went back into the traditional, uh, traditional banking world um, with a bank in Vietnam, which was one of the best experiences of my life, but I realized very much sitting in a bank headquarters in Hanoi that ah, I just can't do banking anymore. My heart's in right, crypto. Right. And you, you, you saw a limitation. You, you, yeah, you, yeah. You. I just, yeah, it's, you know, I, I just don't believe in it as much. You know, I believe in Web 3.0 crypto, you know, but since, since I got into it in 2017, you know, and that's after a, a, a 25 year career in, in, in old world finance. And I came across these guys, a friend of mine is the CFO. Right. And they, they came up with this really novel idea. The founder fell with card, my boss, the CEO, you know, and I was looking for a crypto project and I was, I, you know, a, a, a solution looking for a problem rather than a problem looking for a solution. And I, I started thinking about it when I first, first, first heard the concept of, of, of tokenizing, uh, tokenizing online gold. I'm like, really? I mean, can you do that? And then I started, I started thinking about it and doing the research on it. And it just made so much sense, right? I mean, if you look at the environmental destruction on an annual basis of the gold it's mining industry. Insane. And I think it, most people are not aware. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. It's breathtaking, right? You know, last year, I think, was 3,400 tons of, of gold. So that's a little over 100, 100 million ounces of gold every year for a product that really has no use case. You right. know, you know right. half that gold. It's in storage. Taken, it, yeah, it's, it goes it's back underground. It's right? in a bank or whatever, but it's a, it's a storage facility. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then the other bother? Hand, so much wasted right. resources. It's it's insane. I, I was mind blown by this. Yeah, yeah, carry on. Yeah, no. And then, then you look at the other half goes to the jewelry industry. And then, you know, the more research you look at it, they say, and I'm, I'm just quoting a BBC report I, I read about this, that 80% of the world's gold's been mined, right? So there's yeah. only 20% 20 left in the ground. So you're not going to get that much out. And, and that's, that's, I believe it was 50, they, they reckon 50 to 60,000 tons of gold is left to be mined. Okay, so they divide that by 34, 3,500 ounces a year. We got less than 20 years of gold supply in the ground, oh, right? Okay. And, you, and you have this much gold already out. You know, if most people knew that, that buying a wedding ring, you know, kills half an elephant worth of CO2, <laughs> it, it, right. it, you know, it's... Right. Didn't make you it think about it. Right. You didn't really think about it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So you know, so we we put a you know we put a lot of thought into this. We have an amazing team that grew really quick. I'm I'm kind of shocked actually. I mean, let me sort of talk about the team first. Right. Yeah. You know, the our CEO is uh is is a Canadian expat, but has he grew up in Jakarta. Has been there for the last thirty years. Very well connected businessman down there. Just an awesome guy. Um. And the bulk of our team is in Jakarta, but you know we have people in Singapore, we have people in Mongolia, we have people in London. 
I know I'm going to miss some people here and get get in trouble. Canada, we have uh, a couple <laughs> folks up there. We got a and, very and, diverse uh, network. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And uh, you know, we 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 think we have a pretty compelling compelling product here if we can get the word out. In that the t- the timing's right, really. I don't think you could have done a project like this, you know, even five years ago, like 2017. I don't think it would have been possible. No, no, no. Do, do you have an elevator pitch for the product? Like if, if, if you have to explain it in a, in a, in a less than a minute, like what, what would that be? Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. I, w- I would say that gold has no real use case. Um, you know, going back to the Warren Buffett thing, he said people from Mars would think we're nuts taking this out of the ground and putting it back in the ground. So no use case on gold, limited supply left in the ground. A lot of that gold, outside of just the CO2, there's ecosystem destruction and all the, those other associated things with, with uh, deforest, deforestation and, and soil right. erosion and those type of things. But you know, with the blockchain out there, we feel that we're buying these mines and areas using the same methodology as the gold mining industry. They use these, these resource uh, geologists certified research reports called uh, NI43 101s or JORP in Australia. Right. Same thing with capital markets fund, fund gold mining that, that quantify the reserves of in the ground. So, you know, our point is we're going to protect these lands into perpetuity, put the mining rights into trust, and then tokenize the, the gold in those proven reserves into the legacy token. That's it in a nutshell. You know, what we did want to do, though, is make an investment vehicle out of this in the sense where it's not a stable token. You know, it's not a PAX gold or something like that. Right. But you, you, know, you want that fluctuation. You don't want it to be a stable yeah, well, yeah, if it was a stable coin, it would be interesting. People would just say, hey, I want I want gold. But, uh, you know, we thought about it. And we said, hey, um, let's link when we go, when we start our private uh, and pre-sales events, let's have it linked to a notional amount of gold. So one legacy token now is one one hundredth of a gram of gold, right? Every, yeah. le- every, every single one, right? And basically, as we fulfill what we say we're going to do in our white paper, our first mine has 125,000 ounces of, of quantified gold in a 43 101. We're wow. going to buy eight, we're going to buy eight times more. Um, and we're going to take Your that plan up to, is a, to buy eight times more of that throughout yeah. uh, the coming years. It, it, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Not in coming years. We're going to do that in the first year. And yeah, I'll, yeah I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but you know, what we didn't want to have crypto people generally don't like gold and they don't like inflationary products. That's true. Um, right. So we thought about it. We said, okay, let's cap the supply. We're going to do 500 million of these tokens over a million ounces of gold. We're starting. We already have our first mine with 125,000. But underneath it, we're going to grow the supply with a capped supply of tokens. So, so it's, an, it's a creative underneath, right? Right. Now, how we're, how we're pricing it at launch. So the public launch is uh, 12 cents. That's an that's, uh, 80% discount to spot gold. Right. So if you just take if we do the simple math versus what it should be worth, it's 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 80 percent. Right. 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 So we we think there's two dynamics that are going to make this token go up. One is that we're going to 8x the supply underneath 125 to a million ounces of gold and then market perception. Right. We're really an ESG story. We're, we're, We're trying to limit CO2 emissions. We're trying to set, you know, deforest the deforestation right, and right. the likes. I mean, it goes on and on. But you know, you got a growing supply. But if you can get that market perception as an ESG pro- project, you know, from an eighty percent discount to gold to a fifty percent dis- discount to gold, the token price goes nuts. And that's what we get really excited about, mm. right? You know, I, I I say our messaging. You know, we thought about this long and hard as a leadership team. Our our messaging is really we're a sixty. 60% ESG story, 20% gold, and 20% Web 3.0. But, uh, you know, most of our early investors were bringing into crypto, actually, not, not okay. vice versa. We're, we're right. teaching them how to bring, uh, to set up MetaMask while it's in, in the works. I mean, I mean so. for me, the word, the word gold provides safety. It's, 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 a, it's a feeling of safety for, for anybody that's coming, especially outside of the crypto world. I think anybody, anybody I've talked to about your project was, you know, intrigued to find out more, the least to say. Now, I know you've, you've got your first mine, which I, I'm mind blown by that. Like, I couldn't imagine that there's gold underneath such beauty. And, and, and we'll show a video of that. Punishing. And, and those places get demolished when, when this actually happens, correct? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the thing that really sunk in after I got involved with the project is, you know, sitting down at night watching 
watching like the Discovery Channel and they have these shows with five guys in a pickup truck up in the Yukon, uh, you know, panning for gold and stuff. And, you know, just look around them. These are five guys and they're, they're, they're destroying acres of forest, you know, ripping 20, 20 dub trucks of, 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 of dirt out of the ground to find one ounce of gold. So, I mean, yeah. that's, that's, the, that's the average. That, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. You know what's interesting and agree pistol lake in ontario the the photos and we're gonna we're getting um a, we commissioned a, a guy to go out there and do some drones of the perimeter of the property in the summer yeah, those are going to be coming gorgeous up. i mean it's breathtaking it's like you're looking at a masterpiece it, absolutely in the second one let me i'm going to hint to that one a little bit to get people excited and try to get all some right, promo all going right. we have a we have another uh, uh property i can't mention it by name we call it project north star that is in the vicinity i would think i, I would I, I would call you know on a scale of one ten one to ten if uh if uh north star is a 15 right wow. it's it's a spectacular beautiful lakeside and it's it's about four times the gold reserves we're getting a we're getting a survey done on it right now. So right. that that could, that could quickly take us toward, towards our one million ounce uh, target. That is your target for for the launch. Yeah. Oh no, not for launch. No, no, because well, we use um, we use the proceeds from the sales to buy to buy the uh, to buy the gold mines. They're not cheap, right? Right. 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 And and and, and these mines are gonna these lands are gonna be registered to the entity that owns um, Nature's Vault. Yeah. So what we do, how it how it's structured now, we're Singapore, uh, Singapore incorporated company. Pistol Lake and subsequent acquisitions in Canada are under a fully owned subsidiary called Pristine Mining, which is a Canadian right. company. What we plan to do um, as we acquire these is put them into a, tr- a, a trust or custody type arrangement that are linked to the token. That's yeah. not done yet. That that takes a lot of legal work to do, but that is the intention. Right, right. That's your that's your vision. That's where you see this. Going. I'm, I'm, it, it could be really complicated to get that to life, but yeah, that's your vision. That's that, that would yeah. be an advantage for sure. Yeah, well, you know, we thought about DAO as well. You know, everybody's like, why don't you put this in a DAO? It, it's just DAOs aren't linked enough to real world yeah. legislation to do it yet. We're watching it. You know, we looked at the stuff going on in Wyoming, but it's it's not ready for prime time. That could be in an ideal situation where you actually put it into a DAO where where NVLT holders or legacy token holders would would actually, you know, really, really, really own it. But uh we will have, have an effect to... on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's, that's, if it's an independent autonomous at some I mean we're we're getting there. That's 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 why this is so excited is that we're part of the future. You are part of the future. It's Thank amazing. You. Uh, is there a story behind the name? I heard the story. Actually, I, I'm going to have to. I, I'm going to have to get Phil <laughs> onto that one because he tells the best story of how he came up with that and talking right. to his kids, the kids at breakfast. And I'll leave it. But you know, I actually, I, I, I never got the, the story behind why it's called Nature's Fault, but it's the perfect name, right? Yes. Um, you know, some some of the lingo we use already. You know, for for gold, you know, is I, I've heard so many things like this is theft proof gold because it's still in the ground and. And you know the jewelry gold is vanity gold, and the bank vault gold is dusty gold, and you know, <laughs> right, or dark right. gold, right? So a lot, a lot of stuff floating around there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look, a lot of our viewers are are, are well, most of them are into crypto. They've done this several times, but there's a lot of people who come into the space through our channel, and I think that's a big advantage of what we have. What, what would be your message in in simpler terminology? What are they buying? You know, people a lot of times say. What am I buying? Am I, am I buying a digital asset? Am I, what, what is it that I'm going to own? Yeah, I, I think the, the safest to say is uh, you're, you're buying a digital asset that is the company's commitment to preserve and keep that gold in the ground, right? right. We, we, have to, we have to be very careful saying we, we can't use gold back. You just can't, or we're a securities token and we can't sell it anywhere. But you know, all of this stuff is detailed in our token purchase agreement and in our white paper. It is a commitment to never mine that gold ever, right? So we are sequestering that. What's interesting about it too is in in the mining and by by means I'm not I don't have a mining background. We got some amazing mining mining people on the team. Yeah. But the key the key on these is we're called patented mining rights. So a lot of times when they give out these mining rights for for exploration, it's kind of use them or lose them, right? So if you don't explore and you don't dig the ground for gold, you have to pay maintenance fees to the government to to in, 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 to keep the rights to maintain um, the rights. Okay. To maintain the rights. Ours are freehold, right? So Pistol Lake is patented. We hold that. No one can ever mine it. Um, our second acquisition is patented too. And those are those are kind of rare, to be honest. So we we feel we got we got some really, you know, grade A, grade A mining resources underneath us, right? right. Which is fun. Right. 
but back back to your question on on people coming in. Yeah, we we think this is a real world asset linkage into Web three point um, right. To be honest, and, and with a strong ESG message, right? It just makes so much sense if 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 people take the time to to look into the the destruction that mining a a resource that that really doesn't have an industrial use case can 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 stop. We're not anti mining by any means, you know rare earth metals and stuff. I, I want to keep my iPhone and we, we need to mine some stuff, but <laughs> right, you know, right, some, right. some stuff, some, some, some stuff, you know. We don't need to mine something that we're going to put in <laughs> store. Yeah, it eventually, if that's the purpose, then why do it? Why, why hold the effort? So this year, let's focus on this year. Uh, okay. what's in the, I mean, there's not much left this year, but uh, what's, what's happening? Walk us through, when is the whitelist uh, start? When, when, walk us through some key timelines. Okay, sure. So we are going to open up our official, we're just putting in some infrastructure behind the scenes now that we're about to take live. August 15th, we're going to officially open in our, our whitelist. Um, and we're going to we're going to pump that out into all of our communities, people can sign up, they actually can sign up now on the website, we just will have to transition that whitelist sign up to our new platform. We, we actually have a little early bird sign up bonus. So if people come in before the 15th and hit that they get a bonus on, on purchase. But formally, with our Telegram and, and Twitter and Instagram uh, communities, that the 15th is we're going to open the gates and say, come in and whitelist. We want to start our pre-sale first of September. So two first weeks of whitelist, first of September. And, you know, we thought long and hard about this. And I, I think the last couple months of, of, you know, the bearish winter, winter is coming, kind of Game of Thrones. Oh, that's all the interesting yeah. time. If we had interesting yeah, yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we we want to come out on, on a major ex exchange on November 21st for, for public sale. A centralized right? exchange. Yeah, centralized exchange. So we're, we're talking to a couple global ones that that love the project. We're, we're doing some really cool stuff with Polygon. They, they've embraced our project. We're going to have some press releases coming out with them pretty soon. They've, they're, they're, oh, so you're, they're, you've decided that you're on Polygon. I wasn't sure we, because I know there was a plan to uh, launch on BNB in the pre-sale stage. Is that uh, right? uh, you know, originally, yeah, we, we used it as a, as, as a bit of a placeholder why, why we strategized for our early buyers because we did want right. to issue tokens. Uh, so I, our early private sale guys that we uh, issued BSC tokens, we're going to swap up for the Polygon ones. So it's official. You're you're on. Polygon. We 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 are 100 percent Polygon. Yeah, and we're we're really excited to be working with them. Right. And you know why I'm, ta why I'm talking it's about partner. ecosystem? It's, it's it's very interesting to see your perspective. I mean, I'm invested into Polygon. I see this network growing. How does it feel as a user? Because you you actually use the network. How's the integration? How's that going? Well, well, we have we haven't done a lot on it other uh, outside of minting. Right. But, you know, I, I, I think when we first started talking to them, you know, they, they it was right around the time they were doing their green blockchain event. We, we came up to them and we said, hey, we're, we're an ESG story. And they're like, OK, we need to talk. Started making a bunch of introductions to folks that they felt we could meet. And, and then, you know, we're going to be playing around on our second product. We're going to we're going to be doing more of these products, you know, maybe a little bit more of a DeFi tilt and and really kind of look into them to give us give us some ideas on, on where to go, where to go in those areas. I know, I know you guys are, you know, NFT guide is, is the name of the show. We got some killer NFTs lined up for NVLT holders too. Oh, really? We're working okay. on those. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some beautiful stuff actually, but that, that's in a couple months. But yeah, the key, key dates are pre-sales. We want to start uh, first week of September. And then we're going to be at all the big shows. Uh, we're, we're all going on the road, like Token 2049 in Singapore. We're going to do them in London. We're going to be in the Middle East. We're in Turkey in November. Yeah, so I think we're we're going to go to about seven or eight shows before the uh, the, the the public exchange launch uh, November twenty first. So yeah, right. pretty exciting. Pretty exciting next three months. I mean, you've got so much. You, 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 this is like the the decentralized exchange on its own. It's 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 a big step. I've been to a lot of crypto projects. It usually takes. Uh, a long time to get to that stage and and you have it planned in, in well in the first quarter of your operations so if i'm interested today i love the project nature's world i can actually fill out a form and yep. and I can win up to um i think 250 um uh, legacy tokens uh in yeah addition that's right to my purchase yeah right the i, I filled right. the form myself it's very self-explanatory it's on your website i'm gonna leave the link in the description but it's uh 
it's it's amazing. Look, if I look at the whole scene of 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 of, of this uh, gold mining and crypto being uh, in in one boat, is is anybody else doing it? Has anybody ever done it? Yes, there's there's been people that have linked uh, gold mining projects to crypto. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think with limited success, nobody's done. Uh, no one's done the unmined piece with the ESG story, right? I think that the closest comparable. To us within ESG messages, uh, there's a, a crypto called Moss, which was was protecting rainforests in in, in South America. That that did, that did some really really interesting stuff and is still going. But uh, as far as not mining gold and, and sequestering right. it, um, no, uh, no, there haven't. And one of the things we're working on, we can't say it's 100 percent through yet, but we're we're working with um, uh, Vera, which is um, the, the carbon credit registry. Um, the carbon credit markets are still a bit of the wild west, but we're, we're working on a thing called an avoided mining protocol where we could potentially get carbon credits for not mining. Um, if that does come through and we do get those, that's something we would airdrop as, 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 as a bonus to the token holders down the road. But it, we can't promise it yet because it's, it's that new. It's, it's a work in progress. It, it might happen. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it looks like a reasonable collaboration for the project it's something that can happen absolutely absolutely mm. so looking at uh for me my my biggest uh drag was realizing the horrendous effect on on, on gold mining on, on on nature in general and just the realization the numbers everything behind it i think one of your strongest uh let's say descriptions of the project is your promise not to mine that's 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 huge yes yeah, um, yeah. You now, as as a normal user, my first question would be, how do I know that's that's going to happen? Like, who enforces that? How is that contractually written? Yeah, that yeah, that that, that that's a great question. Um, one of the things we tried tried to do, and where we're targeting to do this, is is uh, buying these mining rights in countries with strong rule of law, right? right? So, the contractual law. Um, right. you, you you know, nothing nothing against developing countries, but buying buying a gold mine in, in Ghana compared to buying a gold mine in in uh in, in Canada or yeah, Australia yeah. is, is is a lot a lot more is a lot more straightforward. Um that contract, right? So if if someone, you know, I, I think with technology now you could obviously you could you could do satellite imagery that the that the land's not being molested. That that's stuff we need to look at. But you know you could get you you would get a lawsuit if we went off and, and started mining the property, it's in Canada. The token holders could sue us, right? Right. Ultimately, right. yeah. So. Yeah. You're you're in a safe. You're definitely in a safe zone. You're you're probably in a difficult zone as well. Not only a safe zone. I mean, it's yeah. not easy. I'm assume to do that in Canada versus anywhere else. If anybody sees the picture, I'm sure they'll be once they see the location. I mean, you said it's a ten. For me, it's a fifteen. So your next project yeah. is probably a twenty. It, it's crazy. The, the legacy value token, uh, we haven't talked about tokenomics uh, briefly, yeah. that's something that's usually of interest. How, how will the, the, the distribution be? What are the percentages? What's what's happening with that? Okay, okay, good question. So 500 million total tokens. When we public launch, 60% of total supply will be in circulation. So remember when I was talking about that one one hundredth of a gram linked to the first pistol, like 125,000 ounces? That's how right. that works. That's the right? 60%. Yeah, so... 75 million tokens are being sold in our private sale. Right. Uh, we're, we're almost done with that. Um, we're, just, we're just kind of chasing some of the stragglers on, on coming through. Commitments were much more than, than we had, which was interesting. But a, a lot of, a lot of our, our, our private buyers are, are new to Web 3.0 and we're kind of walking them into, into doing it, which, which is actually pretty exciting. It's um, the safety. It's, it's the, for me, it's not knowing that I'm in, I'm in gold. You know, it gives you that safety cushion. Yes, that's sorry. Right. Oh, no, no, sure. Okay. And then 75 million uh, are going for pre-sales, which we're going to start in September, uh, which is 15%. And then uh, 150 million uh, tokens are going in the public sale. That's the exchange listing. So that by November 21st, that takes us into a 60% circulating supply. Um, what we didn't want to do is be greedy either. I was actually coming to closer to an end. We were talking about the tokenomics, right? And then you mentioned staking, which which is a, a huge uh, added value uh, these days. So what's happening with the staking? Uh, what's the program there? 
Yeah. Okay. So, so in a nutshell, it's kind of like some of the earned products the exchanges had until they put limits on them. So if you think of like crypto.com or finance up to six, six months ago, you could, you could do like a fixed deposit and, and earn yield on your tokens. And then they put, they basically put caps in place where you could only put a very small amount in. But so we basically <clears> said, Hey, let's, let's take 15, 15% of our total supply and, and lock it in for the hodlers to, to reward them on a series of, series of, of, of products. One is a one month fixed deposit, a three month and a six month. So, you know, we're, we're thinking we will reward uh, AP, APR of 8% on the one, one month, 12% right. on the three month and 16% on the, uh, uh, on the uh, sorry, six month one. Um, you know, very, very it, it, realistic, very realistic. Sixteen percent on on the six yeah. month, and 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 that's you right. already allocated those cones. They have limit. Uh, once these uh, are distributed, that's it. This is not an because that's a lot right. of projects. That's an overflowing fountain that never stops. You don't have that problem. That's very important. Yeah, and we don't. We don't. Again, early in the project, you know, I think we were thinking about it. It was they were like, okay, everybody, every time we buy a mine, we're gonna. We're going to issue more tokens. I was like, no, 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 no. We cannot. We we we're going to make this a cap supply. Um, there's only going to be 500 million of these things, and you know, it, it, more gold is getting bought underneath it, and they're going to go up. So that's that. That's what we gets us really excited. Amazing, amazing. I mean, it it it's been such a pleasure. I I think I've got everything uh, from my side covered. Um, unless there's something that we forgot to mention and you would like to add uh, to finish off with. Yeah, yeah. I just say join, um, join our communities. Uh, we we put a lot of content out there. We're making more and more partnerships within the Web 3.0 world and the ESG world. So we're kind of double double pronged approach on on, on making partners. Um, you know, I'm, I'm shocked how big our communities are getting. We hit twenty six thousand on Twitter uh, the end of this month. You know, I, I how wow. You know, we we started a a Telegram specific language group in in the Middle East Arabic that's already at 5,000 we have almost uh, over 5,000 in Vietnam Vietnamese specific Turkey we started uh, three three weeks ago and we already have 3,000 people in it so I'm, I'm amazed how, how, how quick how quick it's going but yeah join our join our communities and follow our story I'd, I'd, I'd say so. I'd say definitely when, when there's a project that adds value, word of mouth spreads very quickly. And we see this, I mean, in life, if something is beyond what is, you know, this is beyond what crypto projects are offering these days. You, you, you hit so many spots. You hit the safety spot. You hit uh, the environment spot. And, 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 and on all aspects, there's something interesting that's happening that is going a step further than everybody else. I salute you for this amazing project. Thank you for your time. It was an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for, for your very kind words. Yeah, I, the, thank you very much. Definitely. Best of luck. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be following you. And hopefully this is not the last interview that we do. It's just the first. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Take care. You have a lovely day. I'll be, I'll, I'll be in touch. All right, man. Thank you.